Uh, welcome, JC. We're here to talk about uh, mainly the symposium. And what's your first impressions? Well, I, I think it's just a great meeting. You know, I look forward to it each year. And not only the information that you gather by sitting in the conferences and hearing these speakers, but also the interaction between you know, members of the technical community that you necessarily don't have the time to see and, and, you, and you don't talk to on, on a regular basis. And just you know, seeing them, meeting with them, and, and just, you know, just collaborating you know, thoughts and efforts together, I, I think that's one of the, the best parts about coming each year. Now, what's your feeling about uh, this year's theme, fusion analysis, so the combination of technical analysis, fundamentals, quant, and, and the like? I, I think, you know what, I think in today's society, you really need that. I think, from what, I, what I do from a sell side point of view, yeah, I'm in front of portfolio managers every day, and I have to be able to speak their language. Okay. You know, if I become too technical, I lose them. But what I, I want to use is my technical knowledge you know, to help them do their jobs better. So what I really have to do is take my technical background, my skills, my charts, and fuse them into their world. So I have to fuse okay. them into their fundamental universe. So the better I could do that, the better I'll be, and the better, hopefully, their performance will be. So um, I heard that there's an analogy that you like to use in terms of flying <laughs> and technical analysis. If I, if I could invite you to, to talk about that and share that with our viewers. <laughs> it's actually funny uh, talking to more technicians around here. And um, as, as Dave's walking behind, you guys can't see. <laughs> <laughs> Dave. <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's a lot of technicians um, recently, just unbeknownst to me, but recently are, are coming out as um, pilots, right. whether flying airplanes or yeah. I started taking helicopter lessons. And oh, okay, okay. I don't know whether it's you know just looking at the the controls um, on, on your dashboard, being like a you know using like technicals to figure out you know where the market's going to go, and, mm -hmm. and you know using these controls about you know, figure out where your your flight path is going to be. But there's something there's something that drives all technicians to want to fly. You know, and I, I don't know what it is, but I think that it's the thrill, the excitement, it, it's the rush, it's it's using all the tools at your disposal sure. in, in order to hopefully land safely at the end of the day. And, and it's interesting because different technicians have, have different backgrounds, not, not, not uh, traditionally um, conventional uh, uh, backgrounds like specific to technical consoles or financial markets. But um, how do you feel, I mean, in terms of the flying passion, that you, the, the passion that you have for flying, how does that maybe lend itself in, in your professional work as a technician? So <laughs> what would you say, what, what are the advantages? What, what are the lessons from that? I will say the, when you're starting to become a pilot, 90% of the job or 90% of the time in preparation work is emergency situations, Okay. right? So as a technician, it's very simple. The trend is your friend, right? So that's the easiest part. You identify the trend and you're with it. But 90% of your work should be what happens or how do I identify when the trend changes? And I think that's, you know, it's, it's a great analogy because you really want to, you know, if you can be a good technician, you can, you know, pinpoint market turning points, right? Sure. It's, it, it's very difficult. So if you spend the majority of your time trying to figure out, not necessarily making a call at the market's gonna turn, but constantly looking, you know, when, when are we too overbought? When are we too oversold? And if you could actually time that correctly, I think that gives you more power and, and that's you're doing your job very, very well. And, and as a last question, what, what would you um, kind of like to share with our viewers about the future of technical analysis where you see that trend going? in the coming years? I think, and just with talking with, with, with a lot of you know, colleagues here, I think technicals are slowly becoming more incorporated into guys and portfolio managers and managers, you know, um, their daily work, right? And, and I think you're seeing more and more CMTs at not necessarily lower levels in uh, corporations, but becoming more and more advanced. And the higher they move up internally, the better name that gets out there for technicals, the more respect that we get, and, and there's better recognition that you know technicals can actually help improve um, you know portfolio managers' jobs. And so I, I think I think it's a slow process, but I, I could definitely see it you know coming to fruition that there's a, there's actually more acceptance for you know the the work that we do. Thank you very much, JC. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks.